Alrighty, let's play the whole thing. That's a lovely accent you have. New Jersey? Austria. Austria? <laughs> well then, <laughs> good day, mate. That's a lovely <laughs> All right, let's see. That's a lovely accent you have. New Jersey? So let's take a look <clears throat> at, I will look at the jaw and the main expressions for your face. That's a lovely accent you have. So, that's a lovely accent you have. The biggest one is that half is missing, <clears throat> meaning, and he says half, and not half of your stuff. Let me uh, scrubbing here. So half at that point should have your jaw move here. You have. New Jersey. New Jersey. And the New Jersey seems too too soon. New Jersey. New you have the new, and it doesn't say it yet. And at this point, Jersey, Jersey. that's also non-existent there. Austria. Austria. The R oh, is also way, way too early. Let me check and open this in a different program here. All right, it's gonna reopen this in VLC here. But you can see how that half is is too soon as well. So that half, nothing's going on. It's too soon there. And it's too soon there too, so. Maybe in this program it's a couple of frames even sooner, but I don't know. For sure, it's it's not in sync. So the main thing I would look at. Hold on. Austria. <laughs> well, then. Well, then. Funny enough, the well then is actually pretty good. Well then. <laughs> well then. But what's missing is, for instance, if you do well, then mm, for the N shape, mm, you want at least a tongue up there, but you could definitely close the mouth more. But in your case, and let me turn the scrubbing off again. Well, then, like you never close the mouth. Good day, mate. Good day, mate. Hold on, let me go back. Again, too soon. And even on mate, it's like your shape is more like a smile, but it doesn't have the lip roll in for mate. So what I would do in this case, because you asked me about lip sync, um, what I would do is do your classic thing of putting your jaw uh, your fist under the jaw and then say the line and then you can feel where the big accents are. It sounds very silly, but you will see, okay, at what point I really, really need to open the jaw and what can I do with just shapes and not jaw movement. But then the biggest thing after that is that it has to be in sync. So you can go into Maya and you can see in your um, timeline, the waveform, and it's not like you want to sync it right there. It's it's not going to be perfectly synced. You want to go just a bit earlier. And on your big accents. That's a lovely accent you have. Half, at least on half, it's a softer, but on half, you can still open the jaw. But the fact that that it's so late um, is, to me, the biggest thing you need to address. You need to look at, okay, okay, when are the big accents? And then you can go into the bigger, the E and the O, so the extremes of in and outs of your mouth, just to hit those big moments. And then your F and the M. So like in your case here, <laughs> good, day, mate. good day, mate. You definitely want to have your M closed and you want your F and the M at least closed for two frames so that it doesn't feel like a pop. And for a, like a, big, uh, a bigger fleshy type of feel, you can do your M, and then as you open the jaw, you still have the lips closed. So you have mate. So I don't know if you can see this. Mate. <laughs> it's where the jaw goes down, but the lips are still closed. And then you open for mate. And this could be, you know, again, over 
minimum of two frames. Good day, mate. That's a lovely accent. You do have tongue action in there. That sounds kind of weird, but that's a that. But right now it feels more like it's kind of behind the teeth, and you want to make sure that it hits the front part of the teeth. That's a lo lovely accent you have. And you can look at if when he says that first line. That's a lovely accent you have. To me, accent is a bigger thing in terms of a shape change. So he could say, "That's a lovely accent you have." So that's a lovely where your shapes are are fairly contained within kind of a small circle, and then this is more. Uh, that's a lovely accent, and on accent. You can really widen and kind of offset for asymmetry, but you can do that at the very end. But I would definitely have a wider shape for accent so that it doesn't all feel like it's just kind of the jaw clacking up and down. So you want to look at your the big moments of when can you really expand the shapes. The accent you have. Accent you have. And then you have, you can go back in. Because right now, it's just so late. There's nothing going on in this section. New Jersey. Technically, like I would still hit this obviously when it's supposed to, but there's nothing wrong with shaping and getting into the shapes before the line happens. So he could, he could go, New Jersey, because he's kind of he's thinking it and he wants to say it, but he just he just makes the sounds later. So you can still have a New Jersey, but at least the New Jersey has to be timed correctly. New Jersey. It's just way too soon. New Jersey. Jersey. And again, New Jersey. And on E, you could, this one I could you could hold it, New Jersey. And he stays in that position. Austria. And then when he hears Austria, he can relax that shape and go. So it's basically New Jersey. And he holds, like, huh? Huh? And then Austria. And then you can go from a wide to a circular and more a smaller shape for contrast. Austria. 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 And you can start shaping in here already where he goes. Austria, so you can have an open mouth to kind of, you know, make that surprise face. Austria. Austria. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can, but that way you could, I would keep those shapes closer together. Austria. It's more like Austria. And then, <laughs> that way again, you go from a more narrow to a wider shape for contrast. Especially that sound, the ha huh, will be a bit of a, a bigger shape out of the corners. And right now it all feels like it's all the same. So uh, you are asking in the email, I don't know if it's still early to work on a lip sync. Um, I mean, you, know, you can always do a lip sync at the very end. Uh, some people do it at the very beginning. I kind of go back and forth a lot of times at the beginning. But the main thing you want to do, and this is just for your early blocking, and it's also going to help you with head accents. So if, if he goes... Austria, and he has that a big jaw move that would kind of tie into her head accent. Austria, Austria. So see how you have the jaw going down, and then the head going down. So it's Austria like that instead of Austria, so that the jaw leads, and then two three frames later the head goes down with it. So you definitely want to go into rough lip sync blocking so that you know where your jaw accents are because those are going to affect the head animation as well. Good day, mate. Good day, mate. So same thing here. Good day, mate. Good day would still be a narrow one, narrow in terms of how far your extremes go. Good day, mate. And a mate can go back out. And again, asymmetry, you would favor one corner. And you can probably... I would probably leave him in this uh, angle towards her. Good day, mate. Well, he do a bit of a move, yeah, so it yeah. could be mate, and then he come back a bit, and kind of rest within this area. Because good day, mate, and then you can end it with this quarter not as far, and this this one definitely wider for your asymmetry. I would favor this side because we see this side more. Good day, mate. Good day, mate. And you can leave kind of like a pirate's mouth. Good day, mate, <laughs> and leave that mouth open towards the end. But as a whole, what I would do is really look at your jaw up and down when that's supposed to happen. And right now, everything is too soon, except one section here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, then. The well then, that seems okay. But before that and after, it's way too early. So look at your timeline um, when those extremes happen. That's, a, that's already a good guide. 
and then look at your extremes of your in and out. So it's not always the same shape. You want to look at when can I when I when can I have contrast in my mouth shapes so that it doesn't feel like it's just kind of stuck in one you know facial acting mode, and then you just have kind of a jaw up and down to uh, you know to add lip sync to it. So look at with this good day mates all those moments where you can go from a small to a bigger mouth shape. Uh, you do also mention. I pushed ahead on the first part and the last, and that's a lovely accent you have. A good day, mate. That's a lovely accent you have. That's a lovely accent you have. Again, for for me, the head accent is too late. That's a lovely accent you. That's a lovely accent you. And not by much. I would say two, three frames. When he goes. Lovely accent. You. Accent. So ah, that's when the jaw will go down, and two, three frames later, the head will go down. Lovely accent you have. And it's really tiny. It's really just a frame or two on when this goes down, but it does feel a bit late. That's a lovely accent you have. You have. But then you have, you can bring it up a bit. You have. And just go. So he might say, you have, and then go back a bit. New Jersey. And then you can go forward, right? It's, a, it's an accent you have. New Jersey, and then you go forward. New Jersey. And now be careful, you're starting to have him drift. Let me take these audio scrubbing off. You have a little bit of a drift this side. And I would do I will continue to go this way. Because that's a lean in, because he wants to know what what it's going to be. Austria. And then only on Austria is when he goes back. So you go back a bit too soon. Austria. Austria. And I would delay the blink by maybe two frames. He doesn't seem to be too bright, uh, clearly. So that when when he hears the information, to me, the blink of him going and processing what he just heard, I would just delay that a bit to kind of give it a bit of a, uh, you know, a bit of an accent on on that. He's a bit of a slow thinker. Austria. Austria. <laughs> well then, <laughs> good day, mate. So yeah, I think the biggest thing would be um, look at your jaw, look at when those accents are, when it happens, so that you can really get more in sync with it. And then we can look at the shapes and how we can tie that together. And also, actually, I've never animated this rig, so once you go into more detailed work, <clears throat> it goes, Austria, oh, when he pulls that jaw down, look at if you have uh, nostril shapes that you can pull down as well, and a little bit of a nose tip as well, and how far you can push the cheeks. So when the, uh, the jaw goes down, you want to pull those shapes down. And then, could they mate a mate as this old presses? You want to bring up the cheeks a bit. You want to do a little bit of compression in the face. So I'm not sure what that rig does, but that's something else that you can start to look at as you go into more uh, lip sync. The accent you have. New Jersey. Austria. Austria. <laughs> well then. Good day, mate. There's something about... I don't know if that's in the rig, but there's something about how, not really seeing the, the lower teeth for so long. <laughs> like usually... Uh, I don't know if you want to bring up, you have control to bring up the teeth, or you just want to dial down the shapes a bit lower, but um, you could potentially just try with the teeth. Even here, they're never really together. I don't know. I'm not sure how that works, but there's just something about barely seeing the teeth here and then no teeth down here. <laughs> well, then. So you have it hoping you want to see just a bit more, just a tap more, so it doesn't feel like it's just this this toothless person here. <laughs> Good day, mate. That's a lovely accent you have. New Jersey? Austria. Austria? <laughs> well, then. I think the hands look better. That's a lovely accent you have. So I know you you were working on IK stuff. New Jersey. But careful, you still have. If you scrub through, you can still see how you have some drifting in the fingers and the wrists. Austria. Austria. Even this here. This feels better. How the wrist follows the forearm. Austria. But it just a it's very slow. <clears throat> you want to just. Have a bit more movement through there and then a bit faster through there. And as you do this faster move, the fingers can change where they, would be, they might be like this and then tighten up a little bit. So you have to look at if, if you go Austria, like that 
that expression, that realization, and how he says that, that might tighten the muscles a bit, and you can see that in the fingers. Austria. <laughs> and then on haha, he might relax because he's laughing, and then you can relax the fingers again. So that's kind of that detail work you could put in there. Well then. <laughs> and on this, I know this is picky, but I will bring that pinky, uh, that pinky, that uh, index finger just a bit straighter. It's basically the the index is more like that, and then your middle finger starts to be a bit more, and then your ring finger, and then your, your pinky. I'm exaggerating, but that way you have a bit of a uh, a bit of a pose like that. Where's my? Can you see my? You can't really see it, but you don't really want to have the index curled as well. It kind of gives you it's a bit of a, a claw um, like pose versus kind of extending, kind of relaxing the fingers a bit more like that. So. I will bring out the base of that index and bring that further down here and then you can see the middle finger behind there and then the rest curling in because he is very relaxed at this point given this pose so you can kind of push that more in the fingers it's just a bit of a weird pose there good day mate <laughs> good day mate good day mate and then watch out in your good day mate it's definitely pushed and it's good, but it feels like there's a lot of it coming from this upper joint there on the neck and not really the lower part where he could be, could I mate, mate. So it's a bit more of a uh, like a little arc forward that comes out of that lower part of the neck as well. And if you add that, you can have a little bit of movement in the chest as well. So it all feels connected. All right, I'm going to leave it at that. Again, look at specifically your jaw movement so that it is in sync with the audio so that it really hits those accents when it's supposed to because right now everything just feels way too early except that, that little section through there and then the end is also a bit too early but the beginning for sure is way too early. All right, thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.